you grew up in Thailand, you would have eaten this American fried rice. It's nostalgic, it's super retro, kind of naff, but delicious nonetheless. This is my American fried rice. So American fried rice, what is it? Well, <laughs> here in Thailand, it's a very specific thing and it's ordered by mums for their kids in cafes all over Thailand, uh, also made at home for kiddies as well. But you don't have to be a kid to enjoy this one. Uh, you do have to love ketchup. Anyway, let's, let's get into it and you'll see just what we're in for. Um, okay, we're gonna start off, there's a few little bits and pieces that we need around the plate, which I think are a non-negotiable for me. You need a fried chicken element, first of all. The easiest way to do that is just to make some little chicken nuggets. Now, I like to salt just some little pieces of chicken here. I always salt my meat rather than salt my crumbing or flour mixture, because you get a better seasoning result. Um, now, I'm gonna pop the chicken into the flour. That's just some corn flour. And then dust those pieces off, pop them into some egg. And now into some breadcrumbs. And then just straight into some hot oil. So there are lots of different stories about the origins of this Thai American fried rice. But I think the main point is that there's ketchup and that was brought to Thailand by Americans. I think that's the moral of the story really. Uh, but for me, it's a super comforting dish. It's kind of like, feels a bit naughty because there's things like raisins and peas and ham in fried rice, which is a little bit blasphemous in my opinion. So if you're a food snob, turn away now. <laughs> but it's delicious nonetheless. I just want a nice golden color on my chicken pieces here. Funnily enough, I've never seen an American eating American fried rice in Thailand. Now you want to hit these guys with a little bit of salt just while they're still warm. And then now we need to do our cute little sausage flowers. And yes, I did say sausage flowers. Uh, I never thought I'd be making a decorative sausage on my channel, but here we go. Now you need a little frankfurter here. That's the flavor we're going for. And you want to cut down one side in the middle and cut through the other like a cross going through the sausage just in a clean pan with a little bit of oil. Just kind of pop your little guy in. Just hold him there for a few seconds, try and give yourself a little flower shape. And once you've got some nice color there, just take those and drain them on some paper towel as well. So there are our little side bits and pieces done. Let's get on to the fried rice. And first up, I wanna make our seasoning sauce. So the much talked about ketchup is going in here. And I want some fish sauce and some soy sauce and a little dash of sugar. So cooking the fried rice, just need a little bit of oil, some garlic and some onion. So far so good, nothing extremely controversial. And now here's where we start to get all retro. So <laughs> I'm gonna add in some ham, some frozen peas and then raisins. Look, raisins might not be everyone's cup of tea in fried rice, but it is what is in American fried rice served here all over Thailand. So in the raisins go. And now some rice. So for me, a good rice for fried rice has been made the day before, as this one has, so it's a little bit dry. But I do have a video on how to make rice for fried rice, especially if you want to give it a try. Uh, that's on my YouTube channel or on my website. Now I also want to add in my ketchup sauce. Oh, just look at that color, you know. It really is quite a happy dish. <laughs> I love that red rice and those little pops of the green pea. Okay, now I don't want to get all fancy with the plating here. I just want to stick with the old school, like Thai shop house kind of vibe here. So we're going to do some molded rice, everyone. Yep, get that rice into a bowl. Tip it out onto your plate. Okay, so there needs to be a fried egg on top here. And my cafe down the road always has a couple of slices of tomato. And then we want some of our crispy chicken strips on the side here. And don't forget your decorative sausage. <laughs> I don't think you can even say decorative sausage without laughing. I mean, come on. I love it. 
So there you go guys, American fried rice. If you grew up here in Thailand, you'll know the joys of eating this one. But let me get in here and make sure I've done it, done it right for you guys. And some egg, I wanna get a little bit of raisin. Mm. So that naughty feeling when you get when you're eating junk food. It's so good though. Mm. That tart ketchup flavor, a little bit of sweetness from the raisin, the creamy egg, and then the savory ham. It really does. I mean, it really does work. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Food.